Hello, welcome back. So, I've picked up these, I've got a iMac 2012. They come with four gigabytes of DDR3 um, and a mechanical hard drive. I purchased it on uh, Facebook Marketplace for £30 um, and there was a video on the listing with a folder sign with a question mark. So I thought, oh, I'll take a punt on it. The chances are it's just a hard drive and I can replace that. Um, when I've brought it home, I've actually been able to start the installation of Mac OS, um, albeit from internet recovery. Um, the most up-to-date one you can run on a 2012 iMac is High Sierra. So I'm gonna upgrade the memory, take out the mechanical hard drive and replace with a SSD, see if we can bring this 10, 11, 12 year old iMac back to life and usable in 2024. Now it didn't come with anything else other than the power cable. The screen is absolutely immaculate. Uh, to get the uh, new memory, all you need to do is take this bottom aluminium cover off. It's got two screws, um, star, I think they're star, and you can pull out the memory. So I'm gonna add in, probably get it up to 10 gig, um, replace the SSD, and then try and install either Ventura or Sonoma on this old MacBook to see how it performs. Not everyone's got hundreds or a thousand pounds to spend on a, on, a, on a new Mac. So I just thought I'd grab this, see if we can get it usable in 2024. Um, I'm not gonna go through the whole process of installing OS. Um, natively, you can't, as I say, you can't install anything more than High Sierra. So I'm gonna use a piece of software called Open Core Legacy Patcher. It's a free piece of uh, software from very intelligent people that have made this uh, possible. And what it does is it patches things like the memory, um, the graphics um, drivers, things like that, so that newer operating systems can run on it. Like I said, I'm not going to go in depth into how to install it, but I'm going to get the hard drive changed, change the memory, and see how we get on with that. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to see if we can use a 2020, uh, 2012 iMac in 2024. Right, we've managed to load up the operating system, and as you can see, we are running Ventura 13.7, got a quad core i5, and we've got 10 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Now, it's actually very, very snappy. If I load up a YouTube video, as you can see, it runs buttery smooth. That's a YouTube video playing uh, at 1080p. Bearing in mind, that is a 12-year-old Mac iMac. It can be done. You just there are ways around installing the newer operating systems to make them more usable in 2024. Yeah, so I think we've proved the point there that an old Mac will work in 2024. Certainly a 2012 Mac. Obviously it's not gonna be bouncing out videos and you're not gonna do any video edit too much video editing or, or photo editing, but if you just casual using, web browsing, emails, Outlook, word processing, Excel, then this is gonna be absolutely fine. Not every, as I said before, not everyone's got hundreds or thousand pounds to spend on a new Mac. So upcycling is what this was all about. Now, I'll probably sell this on, won't make much money at all, but I just like tinkering and playing around with things and. I see it on, on the Facebook and thought, let's give it a shot, see if we can make it usable and, and sell it on and give someone an extra use out of it rather than it go to waste. So, like I say, we upgraded the memory to 10 gigabyte, it had four. We changed the uh, old style mechanical hard drive for an SSD, a 256 gig one. I paid £5.99 for the eight gig stick and £13 for the SSD from Amazon, it was on a Prime deal. There are ways around that you can put newer OS operating systems on it. That's a video for another day, but that's a tool called Open Core Legacy Patcher. And it just patches all of the devices so that they can be used stable enough in the new operating systems. 
So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. And I'll catch you in the next one.